Finally, we're getting there. All right. <laughs> I don't How even want to tell you about my morning. <laughs> <laughs> you ever How been in the parking lot on 440 for an hour? Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. No, thank you. But we survived. It could have been worse. That's I right. could have been the one in the wreck. Amen. Yeah. Well, we, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us, and uh, we understand that now you're running behind the eight ball for the day. So, well, I, I apologize for aggravating you, but I'll do better. You're, you are just fine. And we're going to try to keep this uh, nice and succinct so that you can get to all the things that you were supposed to be doing between nine and now. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm, I'm Jordan Flair. I'm the legislative chair for the Central Carolina Association of Realtors. And we've got a couple other folks on the call. We've got Morgan Harper. She's our association director. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself, Dalton? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Rep hey, Representative Dalton Clark here. I'm with the North Carolina Realtors Association. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, get us set up here today. Uh, did just want to let you know that we're, uh, because some of the scheduling, we're going to record this for a couple of the, the members of our legislative committee, if that's okay. That's perfect. Good deal. Well, thank you so much for being here. Like Jordan said, we'll keep it short and sweet as a lot of what we were hoping to discuss is past your body of chamber. <laughs> yeah. well, well, that's what Cody and I were just, just discussing. And so I'll, uh, I'll try to keep my mouth shut and listen. So <laughs> No, we, we want to hear from you. And actually, uh, before we kick off with everything that, that we want to do, I would love to hear something that you're working on that you're just passionate about. Uh, something that maybe you're a sponsor or co-sponsor on uh, that, that we, the people need to be aware of and can help support for you. Well, we, we're, we're trying, everybody's hustling for crossover and, you know, trying to save their bills and so on. So uh, <laughs> I've, I've actually got four in uh, 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 health in the morning, one in, in ag, and then I'm carrying uh one for Representative Cunningham uh, that I think's in rules tomorrow. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll get it all done. We just, uh, I, I'm just not one of these people. If I'm not 15 minutes early, then I'm late. So I'm really late today, but, but we'll survive. It's all good. Well, wonderful. We, we wish you the best getting those last couple pushed through. And uh... Did, did want to say a, a big thank you for the couple that you did recently, you know, last week. I know we had to push our meeting, but that was because you were working on our behalf, and we, we greatly appreciate that. Um, NC Realtors has had a couple of different focuses this year, and I, they've probably sent you lots of different notices and emails, and I know uh, our rep, you know, our, our population of Realtors has sent you quite a few, um, especially recently as we were pushing things through, through the house, but a uh, couple that just wanted to kind of talk around and hear your thoughts on um, House Bill 401, the increasing housing opportunities. Um, that That's one that, uh, you know, NC Realtors was concerning itself with. Any any thoughts or, or comments on that as far as, you know, what it's creating or uh, what you see as the pros and cons there? Uh, and, and you'll have to, uh, to, help me a little bit oh sure it is 401 um uh, the one uh, uh, okay that one of those bills um uh, was concerned department of insurance and then one of those bills was just about zoning which you you bring me this, up today this is the zoning yes okay. sir yep okay uh the opposition or the uh counter um, on that was the municipalities were concerned about they were going to lose their zoning capability or some of that stuff. Did yes, did y'all get most of that worked out, uh, or where Dal are we at? Dalton, you could probably speak to that a little better better than I could, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll say that it's ongoing. Uh, that's that that um, there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces to that legislation. There's a lot of things that we think are going to make um, housing more affordable here in North Carolina and offer more opportunities. Uh, but like you said, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of heads on that. 
a lot of people who have opinions on it. So as we continue to work through, our biggest thing is just finding uh, what opposition folks have heard. And so is there any, are any of the cities uh, in Stanley County that's reached out or any of the municipalities? Uh, not, not really. Uh, the, the people in, in Cabarrus County, especially in Concord, we, we had talked about this issue probably six, eight months ago uh, about where, uh, and, and they're really involved in trying to get some, some uh, uh, low income housing and some of, of, of that uh, type structure going on. And so I, I haven't heard anything from them. So I figured they probably were, you know, very satisfied with with the bill uh, in Stanley County. We have out in Locust. Uh, we've got three complexes and in Albemarle. I know there's at least two complexes with uh, low income housing. So um, hopefully they've kind of been ahead of the curve. And uh, um, outside of that. You'll, like I said, you'll have to educate me where we're at with that. Sure. Well, that I mean that that's good insight from from your side too, because of course you get to hear and participate with with the municipalities in a way that we don't always get to find out about. So um, yeah, Cabarrus County, the the housing shortage and and the cost of housing and everything has has really been a challenge, especially ramped up in the last year or so, and. Uh, something that a lot of us here are passionate about, about keeping it affordable for the average uh, resident. And, you know, it's, it's a great time to sell your house. It's a pretty hard time to buy a house. Um, and so, and, and if you, if you sell your house, you got to live somewhere, right? <laughs> that's right. That's, that's what I hear anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge for those of us representing buyers and sellers and, and, you know, I've got one right now. It's like, hey, we'd love to sell our house. We can't find anything that we'd buy. So, um, yeah, there's that I've hear, heard that a lot in the last few <laughs> months. I know Dale could speak to that as well. Um, you know where where he is, and uh, I I don't know that there's a whole lot else we wanted to talk about on that bill other than um, the ADUs and sort of the accessory dwelling units and and the uh, sort of fight over the short-term uh, rentals and, and stuff like that. That was also a part of this uh, bill and wasn't sure, just curious your, your thoughts generally on sort of short-term rentals and also making space for mom or dad or that kind of thing with, with uh, accessory dwelling. Uh, the the, the short-term rental issue is probably way above my pay grade. So uh, <laughs> I don't know that, that, uh, that, that I've had any, uh, discussion at all with with any of my municipalities probably the only one that it might would affect uh eventually is norwood where where the lake is and and they'll they may be a little bit of that there's a great opportunity if somebody wanted to get into that business um i've i've got a rental house on the lake down there that that keep rented all the time but somebody told me the other day in 2020, there were 120 houses on the lake that were for sale in Stanley County, and now there's like 10. So that's, in a year's time, yeah, I, I've got someone looking. <laughs> <laughs> Would you well, like to see yours? <laughs> well, the, the good news is uh, we've probably got about a 300 million dollar project coming. So just tell them, you know, to hang on. So uh, fantastic. Uh, thank, Things are things are really looking good in in Stanley County as kind of everywhere in North Carolina, but yeah, uh, no, don't don't have a, a lot of of knowledge. I guess it's not that everybody's got an opinion. It's just where sure. it's worth anything or not. But but uh, no, there's there's some opportunity for that uh, on the lake in Stanley County. We'll just have to see if anybody decides to get in that business or not. Are are we allowed to know any of those details of that? Three hundred million dollar project. Well, uh, it, I, I passed a bill that uh, would allow them to uh, hook on to uh, to a water line that was a federal grant deal in in uh, nineteen ninety eight. So that was kind of the start. 
no, there hadn't been any official announcement. It's just, uh, it, it's in the in fast, the fast uh, drawing phase. And I mean, it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's not, uh, it, it's not could have, you know, would have, should have type deal. It's, it's, um, and there's, a, there's some other positive things going on. Some of it just not on the lake, but yep. It's all good. Love to hear it. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's a, it's a, where, where we talk about the low income housing on, on one side, which is, is a necessity for everybody. This is the side that pays the taxes so we can have the low income side. So, absolutely. you know, we got to have both. Absolutely. It takes all, all the pieces. I so, like win wins. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Th thank you for letting us know about that. Um, one, one that you guys recently passed was uh, House Bill 367, the Uniform Partition of Heirs Property Act. And uh, that was one that we at NC Realtors were pushing, you know, kind of hard on. And so we, we appreciate uh, you guys getting that one through for us. Um, we realize you've been pushing through a lot of stuff, but any, any thoughts on, on that bill in particular this, as it relates to, we know that the clerks, you know, were a little op, you know, in opposition to it, but um, it passed with flying colors. So curious to hear your thoughts. Well, it, it was one of those bills that, that kind of, and you'd like to come up here and think everything we vote on is, uh, uh, you know, zero to a hundred, but it's not some days you get those uh, 49, 51 votes and you just flip a coin. No, we don't really, but, but it's, it's that, it's that tight. I've, I've gone in committee meetings, read the bill, knew how I was going to vote. And after the discussion, I vote the other way. So, you know, it's, uh, and that was one of those bills that, that you know, had some, uh, some positive negatives on both sides and you try to listen to everybody. But uh, I, I, I don't see any, any reason what, what was passed won't be positive and, and uh, you know, we'll, uh, well, and, and, and my understanding, it, it was 90% about workload. It wasn't really about the, the bill doing anything bad or negative or that type stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll get all that worked out or y'all get all that worked out. So. Well, yeah, we, I think they ended up compromising on uh, Dalton, correct me if I'm wrong, but compromising on the timeline for, imp, you know, implementing that. Th and that's, that's my understanding. And, and, yeah. You know, they, they were still, a few people had some heartburn, but I, I think it'll all get worked out. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dalton, were there any of the other ones that recently passed that NC Realtors, you know, was particularly interested in or, or that, you know, we should get Sasser's uh, thoughts on while we've got him? Yeah, you know, and, and we had remote online notarization go through. Uh, I remember we spoke with you last year about that being a possibility and, and remember how much in favor you were of it then. So uh, I'm glad to see that that's more permanent now. I, I think our judge may have been the only one that voted against it or something. So uh, uh, Representative Jones. Yep. yep. Uh, have have y'all talked with him? He's really I, a nice guy. I, now, he's I, on the other side of the aisle. Don't tell anybody I said that. You know? <laughs> but if you talk to him, he's he's uh, he's pretty smart. One of the guys we have on staff uh, did some work for him at the polls a couple of years ago, and we we sure gave him a lot of crap about it. We we're like, "Come on, it, we never you never get anything unanimous anymore. How how are you going to do us like that?" But well, we, we, I understand hey, that one that. vote didn't hurt you, man. Don't right. Do I'm sure he had he had a. Uh, uh, his reason so absolutely they, I, I guess i guess you guys know lee allen we do yes oh, yeah. <laughs> uh matter of fact if i was at the beach somebody said it was mother's day and i had to take my wife down there and, and do do that deal but uh, uh on monday almost every monday morning i eat breakfast with lee in uh albemarle there's about five or six of us that eat together so uh yeah i I really feel sorry for Lee. He doesn't have any business. He's not making any money. I, I'd buy his <laughs> breakfast most mornings. Uh, uh, heck of a nice guy. Yeah, well, that's awful nice of you. I'm glad someone takes care of him. <laughs> that, no, we uh, yeah, we like Lee a lot. Um, and uh, and I, I hate that he didn't join. I, I know that he's 
he's been on a couple of these with me. He, he kind of splits his time between the Charlotte group and Central Carolina, and he's he's everywhere. But um, he's they, making uh, money. That's what we're losing. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We had, I can't remember who we had on. Um, um, but uh, w- one of the meetings we had, uh, we we're going around doing introductions, and uh, whoever introduced herself before Lee said, "Okay, I'm gonna make sure I keep this real short because Lee's gonna take up all the time here." <laughs> and, uh, and and he was he was upset that we were getting he's getting picked on a little bit. Yeah, well, if Lee gets gets over that dull personality he's got, I think he's gonna be he he may make it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as far as legislation goes, though, I think we've hit most of it. You know, we're, we're going to monitor anything that involves broadband, but uh, and, and getting that to our rural areas. But you know, there's nothing specific that we we're pushing right now. I, I'll I'll turn it back over to Jordan. But before I do, I just say thank you so much for getting this done for us. Uh, we 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 sure hope this is the last time we got to do it on the internet. <laughs> I hope that next time we'll be in Raleigh and get to sit down and talk. Well, I look forward to seeing you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I, I did have one, uh, one question regarding the, the broadband and, and the sort of the rural, the need for internet in, in rural communities. And, uh, you know, Elon Musk has recently launched Starlink, which is his satellite based, uh, internet service and of course it's not available everywhere yet but um, feel like it probably will be in the not too distant future as they continue to roll out that that infrastructure and wondered has that impacted you know that the uh, the monies or the way that you guys are looking at allocating funds for the rural broadband I mean is, is it going to take both um, is one going to supplant the other what what are your thoughts on on sort of that uh, developing. Well, we can get into a really good conversation when we get into broadband, but <clears throat> got to brag on Stanley County. Uh, <clears throat> the mapping bill that we passed oh, a month ago or so that went over to the, to the Senate, uh, our Stanley County commissioners had voted to do that four or five months ago. So we're mapping Stanley County as, as we talk which just simply means when at the federal level, they look at Stanley County, Albemarle has a gig. I don't know what that means. So that's how IT, you know, uh, uh, intelligent I am. But, but so the, the federal government says, well, Stanley County's got a gig. Well, we got places down where one of these big investments, we got a $10, $10 million hotel going in Cottonville, North Carolina, and they got zero. So till we get mapped, it, those type situations are not going to get taken care of and they're not eligible for the grant, the great money. So our commissioners are really on top of it and was able to get uh, one of our people from Stanley County who uh, taught it, Pfeiffer and taught at community college uh, IT on one of the state boards that, that looks at all this IT stuff. So, uh, the biggest problem we've got uh, is not that we're not spending a lot of money. We just got to figure out how to get all that work done without making the same mistake that the DOT made when we gave them all the extra money and all they did was double the cost that it cost to get the work done and no more work got done. Okay. So that's a, that's a real issue because we have a responsibility as, uh, uh, as state legislative people to be frugal with with your money because uh, it's not our money it's your money so uh, it's not the state's money we take it from from you the taxpayer so but we're 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 doing some really good stuff uh, representative moss and i passed a couple uh or introduced a couple broadband bills just to uh get the monopoly's attention uh, and uh Representative Moss told him when they came in his office just pitching a fit, he said, well, at least you know who I am now. <laughs> so one of the bills was uh, trying to force them to activate all the dark fiber that we've got in Stanley County. Oh, man, now they, you would have thought you had uh, uh, murdered somebody. So, But we're, we're going to continue to rattle some people's cages and, and uh, 
make the people with all the money do the right thing. And, and we can't survive. We can, if we never build another road in North Carolina, North Carolina would be fine. But we cannot survive with the amount of broadband that we have in this state. I mean, we are so far behind. And uh, so we got to, again, read three minutes. Okay. I, I just got fired. Yep. So yep. guys, I, I knew I'd get long-winded on broadband and, and uh, so. Thank you so much, Representative Stasser. We really appreciate your time. Good luck catching up on everything and uh, with those other couple of bills, getting them pushed through. Thank you so much for taking the time and we look forward to speaking to you in Raleigh next year. Keep me in the loop, guys. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks, thanks for all sir. you do. Thank you. Three minutes. Okay. <laughs>